combo brows today. So combo brows, they start out really dark at the tail and then they get lighter and then you can see the hair strokes right here in the front. So the hair strokes technically fade into a makeup look. So it looks really natural. This is definitely one of my favorite type of brows to do. These are, we just um, actually changed them to combo brows. So she had ombre brows that we did originally. And I just went in and added some hair strokes right here to make them look a little bit more natural. totally didn't get around to it and now like after breast cancer it's like you know dude life's short you gotta go yeah. and go for it you, you gotta, gotta like go grab it. it by the horns you know and so i'm like so that's kind of an, an attitude that i want to take to this is yeah like, we're working it together okay um and that way by the time you're 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 healed healed I see. by the time your scars are, are ready to tattoo we're ready to do the tattoo for you completely with all your approval and that's that, that's the best ray of sunshine that I can I can offer at okay, this point yeah. in your overall scheme. I just I really encourage people to spend the time when you know if you're looking to do your memorial type tattoo, right. um, something that's going to you know life changing piece of art, right? Um, there's going to be a reason behind wanting that, right? And so as you're working through those reasons, you know what I mean. There's going to come times, I'm sure, if you're anything like me, where you're just sitting there and you just don't really know what to do with yourself and you're like a little overwhelmed and like, no, what do I do? Well, research. Okay. Spend some time looking for what will turn you around. What, what, what is your sunshine? What is your brighter day? What is going to make today better? And where, once, once you get to that arrival, arrive at something like that, then you, then you know Kate. So we just had a client come in. Um, for a consultation and some of these consultations are pretty difficult to deal with sometimes you know you have to uh, you have to really identify what it is that they're trying to get done and then from there you have to really decide whether or not you have the ability to meet their need some of the hardest people to meet their needs are some of these mastectomy patients you know breast cancer survivors uh, God willing they, they, they are able to make it in here in a healthy manner and when they do, you know, it's probably one of the hardest things that I've ever dealt with is as far as like um, trying to restore a, a, a woman's womanhood. <laughs> um, and being able to do that is, is, is difficult. And so um, not everybody wants the same thing. Uh, and I, I say that like, you know, some people want you to replicate a breast, exactly. So they want it to look like nothing ever happened uh, and then there's other people who want to embellish that and memorialize the event so they want to accentuate the scar and put something cool and, and you know attractive there that's not necessarily just an areola um, and some people want a combination of both um, in this case I think that we're looking more towards a scene of hope I don't think she's gonna go the re reconstruction route so um, that she loves to dive and do things like that. So we're gonna have to develop a scene that goes along with some of her interests like diving or, um, and, and sea creatures and, and then uh, work on putting that into uh, a cover up uh, of the scars. Anyway, those, those, those opportunities uh, to try to make an impact on somebody's life, uh, we, we get every day, but sometimes it's a different level of impact, if you know what I mean. Doing inventory, you know, we gotta know exactly what we got so that we can give our customers the best. I mean, they only deserve the best. So, literally go through and count every single cap of ink that we got in the entire store. So much fun. And also get you guys familiar with everything we have and all the colors we make available to you. Right? Yeah. That's a big part of it, just being familiar with what we have, just knowing exactly what's there, knowing what's missing, what we need.
right now I am just getting ready to do this dog paw here. Uh, we did our line work on the flowers. And so now we're going to put in the print. I'm using a uh, 15 curve mag right now to start it out. And I will probably use a round liner here in just a little bit. Get the double YouTube free copyright music on this one. Oh, fuck yeah. She absolutely has like no. Today we are continuing on a sleeve that we began a uh, time ago. Uh, this is Alice in Wonderland. the background uh, and framing up the top of the shoulder and then today we're going to work all the way down our background layer and then start color back with the queen of hearts here boom wanted some filigree and a couple roses and um, a butterfly and so right now what we got going on is some filigree that I designed a couple roses and then we're gonna later on we're gonna add a skull up here with a butterfly probably in the eye and that's gonna represent she has lupus so this is gonna be kind of her coming to life here tattoo super awesome it's gonna be beautiful 